Hello everyone. So for this session, let's pull up the data, the auto data from Stata's website. This is a 1978 automobile database. And uh, here we have a list of variables. Let's see what we have here. On the left hand column, we have the names of the variables. So Stata recognizes these variables with these names. On the right hand side are the labels that are attached to these variables. These might be the full name of the variables or it might explain the variable further. So you can attach the labels to the names of the variables. Let's open the database and see how this data is represented in the data browser. So either you can go to data and then choose the data browser, editor or browser, or you can just type in the command browse and it pulls up the data. Okay. So this is what we have here. All the variables by default in Stata, all the variables are in columns. All right. So these are the variables make, price, miles per gallon, repairs taken by 78, headroom, trunk, etc. And each row represents an observation or a data point. So for this make of the car, this is all the information that you have related to that car. Right. So by default, all the observations are in rows and the variables are in column format. You can have variables in rows, but then you'll have to inform Stata that you've changed that. Okay, so there are uh, commands uh, with uh, rows attached to it. But we are going to just stick to the default where we are going to place everything in column format. So these are the observations. And if you go down, there are 74 observations or sometimes like to call data points. So this is your data. If you click on the variable price on this uh, top column here, it gives you the name, the label, the type of variable it is, and the format that it has been stored in. Yeah. And so you can always go and change that. But remember, we opened this up in a browser format, not the editor. If it was an editor format, we would be able to change this data. And unless you are planning to change the data, I would advise that you always open it in browse so we don't change anything or delete anything by mistake. So this is what the data look like. Now what we're going to do is we are going to try and explore this database further, try to understand what we have here. I'm going to type the command describe and we can also write the short form, which is DES. And here Stata gives us all the information that it has on the data. There are 74 observations or data points. There are 12 variables. This is the size of the data. It also gives us a little bit more information. It's 1978 automobile data. And this is when it was uh, put together. Now we have a list of all the variable names. We have their labels as well. And here what you see is the different formats or different forms in which these variables have been stored. So make is a string variable. Okay, what does that mean? Well, let me write the next command, which is please summarize the data for us. And here you're asking Stata to summarize and give you the different averages and different characteristics of the data in a tab tabular format. And what we see here is all these variables, these are the observations attached to these variables. When we look at make, it says zero observations. We know that is not true. The reason why it is zero is because make is stored as a text variable. That's what you see here, that make is stored as a string variable. So all the text variables that you might have, variables that are in the form of text, would be stored as string variables. All the non-string variables, which are your numbers, would be stored in these three different formats, either as integers, float and byte. So let's go back to uh, what the command that we had given earlier. Let me give it again a summarize. What this gives us is it gives us all the summary characteristics of these variables. It tells us how many observations we have for each variable. It tells us what the mean is, what the standard deviation is, what the minimum and the maximum is for that variable. All right. So what we see here is that the price, the average price, the typical price is 6,165 for the different makes we have in this database. It tells us what is a minimum price and the maximum price. Go further into this last variable, which is foreign. I'm going to say, please tablet this variable for us. You can just go to the variable window and click on the foreign and that would bring it up as well. So you don't have to type it every time. And it tells us that there are two 
different types of cars those that are made domestically and those that are made in a foreign country all right and this tells us how many observations of cars are actually produced in the domestic country and how many in the foreign country and what we see here is that the car type has been written up in text format but that doesn't necessarily mean that the variable is stored in text format what i'm going to do is i'm going to ask stata to give me any code books that it might have related to foreign and this gives us the information on how this variable is stored the variable is stored as 0 and 1 and with each of these 0 and 1 numbers there is a label attached to it and the label for 0 is domestic and the label for 1 is foreign bring it up by using the command edit i don't want to edit it but i do want to show you guys that here what we have is for the variable foreign there is a value label attached to it yeah and the va value label is referred to as origin and as you can see the value label is telling stata to label the zeros as domestic and one as foreign i can always change these labels up here or create new labels and add values to it all right let's try to do that for the miles per gallon i'm going to edit mpg and this gives us the miles per gallon let's say i go to miles per gallon and i want to create a value label uh let's call the label name efficiency and i want to add the for the value say 30 i want to label it efficient yeah for the value 15 i want to say it's a guzzler here add i'm just going to do two right now efficiency i'm choosing efficiency here and i'm saying apply all right so as you can see wherever there was a 15 now there is a label attached to that and it is referred to as uh, a guzzler okay and if i went tabulate miles per gallon then it gives me the value labels instead of the values itself that's all for now guys have fun